Oh, hello there. As I'm sure you all know, on a college campus, there are many different groups that one can become affiliated with, with topics ranging from hobbies and politics to religious affiliation and gender appreciation. But I'm sure there's one group that you still haven't heard of yet, and I'm here today to change that. And how. I'm the publicist for a new nationwide group called FTW, or Fuck the Whales, and we're here today to get our word out. Now, I know what some of you are thinking. Why whales, FTW? What have they ever done to you? Well, nosy Nancy, the answer is more than you know. More than you know. Whales are a dangerous species, and it's a known fact that not one whale has ever been good. If you were to think of a whale, many of you would conjure up images like Moby Dick, Monstrap, the whale that ate Jonah, or even Shamu. But none of these whales have ever been in kind spirit. That's a fact. Just look at Shamu. He's taken several lives over the years, and at this point, there's probably more Shamus in the world than there are safe havens from whales. It's an epidemic. Just listen to a few of the testimonials from everyday people like you and me who recognize this threat. Last month I went whale watching with my family. I was, uh, I was skeptical, you know, because I'd heard a lot of things about whales and we were gonna be pretty close to them, but uh, my family convinced me. You know, it, it really wasn't so bad either, like, had an all right time. <sighs> Till two days later, when I was diagnosed with terminal cancer. The whales. It just took me to a bad place. I, I don't want to go back. I can't. It, just don't let, no, don't let them take me back. When I was a child, the whales drove my father to drinking and molested my kid sister. You see, whales are assholes, and this is exactly what we're fighting for a safer, whale-free existence. Out behind me you see a stunning landscape, but you know what you don't see? Whales. This is because last year, from FTW's efforts alone, we were able to raise enough money to surround a 70-mile exclusion zone with nets around the Santa Barbara Harbor to stop the whales before they can inflict any more pain. And the project is growing daily. Now we've had people address some of our methods with their own criticisms before, calling us excessive miscreants hell-bent on eradicating an entire species. But I assure you, our methods are necessary. Just listen to this quote from a relatively powerful gray whale. What was that big thing in New York a while back? 9-11? Oh yeah, that was me. It ain't no thing. But I'm here to tell you that it is a thing. You can't just pull a 9-11 on a whim like that. But the whales seem to think so. These are serious issues, and if you care about as much as this cause as we do, then join us. Donate money, or simply spread the word. I'm Ryan Emerson with Fuck the Whales.